Hi, we're going to talk about how to invite someone to look at the Amber presentation who might be older than you or more successful than you. All right, so I believe there's a different invite uh, in a case like this. Um, I'll just take me as an example. I'm 36 years old. I'm a business person. Now, if I had my written list in front of me and there was somebody, as I'm going down my list working on inviting people to look at the presentation, if someone on my list was older than me or they were more successful than me, or both older and more successful, I would use a different approach. Now, I want to just give you an example. Let's say I have a next door neighbor, his name is Bob. And Bob is a 55 year old multimillionaire businessman, very successful. So Bob qualifies both ways. Bob is older than me, and he's more successful than me. Now, it wouldn't make sense if I went up to this 55 year old, older, more successful person and said, hey, Bob, I got a great way to make money. He's not even going to look at it, folks. He's going to say, come on, Mike, I've been making money since you, you were a young boy, and he would never take me seriously, right? You're probably agreeing. He wouldn't look at it. Even though Ambit is great, I would never get that person to the presentation. So I want you to hear the approach that I use, and it will work every single time. My objective here is not to convince this man, Bob, to join. My objective is to get this older, more successful person to take time out of his schedule to sit down with me for 30 minutes. And then I take out the Success From Home magazine, I take out the DVD, I put it in the machine, and I hit play. That's my objective. Here's what I say. So Bob is my next door neighbor, or it doesn't matter who he is. He's an older, more successful person than me. So let's say I go over and knock on Bob's door. Um, I call Bob on the phone. I see him outside washing his car or walking the dog. I stop Bob. Hey, Bob, it's, it's, how, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing well. How was your weekend? Everything was great. How was your holiday? I always do some small talk first, folks. Here's what I say. I get right into it. Hey, Bob, you got another minute? I do. Bob, listen, I just started a part-time business recently. I'm really excited about it. You know, I wanted to get another businessman's point of view, and you were the first guy that popped up into my head because we've just been family friends for, for a long time. I know you know my parents, 30, 40 years. But I admire you and respect you as a business person. You're probably the most successful business person that I know. Can you do me a real big favor, Bob? Can you give me about 30 minutes of your time just to sit down with me? Let me show you exactly what I'm doing, and maybe you can give me a couple pointers and some suggestions on how to build a business. Can you help me out with that, Bob? And I wait for an answer. 99.9% .9 of the Bobs are going to say yes. If you talk to them nicely, if you compliment them, and you ask for help, they're going to say yes. See, my objective was not to convince this man or this woman to join. My objective was to get this person to take time out of their busy schedule to sit down with me. And then I take out a Success From Home magazine, I take out a DVD, I put the video in the machine, and I play. If the video is done, Bob might come back and say, wow, Mike, this is great. How do I get started? Sign him up. And it's happened a lot of times. Bob might come back and say, Mike, this is great, but I'm ready to move to Florida and retire, but my son would love this, or my manager at the restaurant would love this. Bob might come back and say, Mike, this just isn't for me, but here's a couple tips on how to go out there and build this. Folks, the objective is to get the person to take time out of their schedule to look at the presentation. It's a numbers game. And I think the more successful the person the more that they're going to want to become an Ambit Energy Consultant. So that's all you do when you're inviting someone who might be older, more successful. You compliment them, you ask for help, you buy time, you get them to look at the presentation, and it's a numbers game. It works all the time, folks. Good luck.